Hi guys. All right, so for today, um, I'm just gonna be sharing with you all a shoulder and a tricep workout that I plan to do. Right now, I'm just warming up my shoulders. Um, it's not a long workout. It's gonna be a short, simple, quick workout. But I just wanted to share with you all more than a leg workout because I feel like as women, we need to be balanced. So you wanna work your legs and your shoulders. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So we are starting with dumbbell shoulder press. Um, the dumbbell shoulder press is a movement which is pretty similar to the strict press where you use just the barbell, except here we're using dumbbells. Um, the muscles that are being worked here are your deltoids, the front, the back, and the middle, your triceps, your traps, and some upper chest. So it's like a full upper body um, exercise. So once you've completed the seated dumbbell press, you are going to drop the weight significantly and you're going to pick up something lighter because we are doing bent over rare delt flies. And for this exercise, you do not want to go heavy because here you really want to focus on form. Your form is important for every exercise that you do, but here you want to go light so that you can actually work the correct muscles. Um, this exercise again is working your rear delts, but it's also working your traps and your upper back. So yes, focus on form over weight. Drop the ego. exercise we are doing one of my favorite shoulder exercises um, it is the lateral raise here we are doing a single arm dumbbell side lateral raise and if you see I have a resistance band sitting on my ACL joint and what this is doing is it's helping me recruit more of my shoulders and my delts rather than my trap um, I tend to overly recruit my traps when I'm doing this exercise so I use these resistance bands to relax my trap muscles and allow me to just use my shoulders and my delts. And again, that helps me focus on just my shoulders. It takes away the help of my traps and it puts the emphasis on my shoulders and my delts. So it's definitely something you wanna try if you have an over recruitment of your traps when you're doing the lateral raises. sharing the setup that I use in order to take away that trap recruitment I was speaking of. So in order to prevent my traps from doing the work during this lateral raise exercise, I place the resistance band directly on my ACL joint and not on my trap. And the reason you want to place it on the joint itself is because if it sits on the trap, it's actually going to make your brain think that is the muscle you want to work. So you want to place the resistance band on the ACL joint and not the trap. So I use one resistance band for a single arm lateral raise and I use two resistance bands when I'm doing double arm lateral raise. So I have the pink one on my left ACL joint and I have a black one on my right ACL joint. You can't really see it but I'm using two in order to prevent my traps from doing any work while I do these lateral raises. I really want to focus on my shoulders doing all the work and not my traps and that's why I'm using double resistance band here. So for the first two sets, I used the resistance bands on my shoulder and then afterwards I took them off 
in order to train myself to continue using just those shoulder muscles, I didn't want to become too dependent on the resistance bands. So I'm also doing them with and without them. That's definitely something you want to give a try. Do not depend solely on the resistance band. You want to use that mind-muscle connection. notice me doing a slight pause at the top of the movement. Pausing at the top of a movement or at the top of a lift um, can be used to build stability and strength. It also helps the body become accustomed to holding heavy loads so that's why I'm pausing. I know what you're thinking baby more lateral raises but yes we are doing more. We are going to switch up the variation here we are doing alternating lateral raises. When one arm is working the other is resting. While the other is resting one is working. And the reason we're doing so many variations of lateral raises is if you perform these regularly, it's going to help you develop stronger, broader shoulders. Um, sh broad shoulders aren't for everybody, but if you really want to look good from head to toe, you want to develop every single muscle. And here we are working primarily on the shoulders. We want them to look good in the summer dresses and even sweaters. That's it for shoulders. We are moving on to triceps. Here I am doing a skull crusher. This is literally what it says. You're getting the weight down to your skull and pushing it back up. This is honestly one of the most amazing exercises to help tone your triceps. I know a lot of women complain about the bat wing or just that little fat at the bottom of your arm. This is definitely one of the exercises that you want to add into your upper body movements. It trains primarily the tricep. It isolates it. This exercise right here isolates it um, just by you laying down instead of standing up. It's having your triceps do primarily all of the work. It's going to be a little hard because your shoulders are fatigued, which is even better because here with your shoulders out of the picture, your triceps have to do all of the work. So again, you want to add this into your list of favorite exercises, ladies. I promise you it'll do you so much good. So, 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 so much good. Once you have finished your skull crushers, we are going to move into what's called a tricep press down or a tricep push down. This exercise right here is an isolation exercise. It works primarily just your triceps, just as you may have guessed. The tricep is composed of three heads. 
this exercise right here, depending on how you do it, is going to work all three heads, ladies. So if you really want to tone the back of the arms, do not neglect this exercise. It's another one of my favorites. It's easy to do. You do not have to go heavy to fatigue the muscle. Because your shoulders are already tired, this is going to force you to use just your triceps. No swinging, no using your back, no using your chest. You want to focus on using just your triceps. That mind-muscle connection is going to come in really handy at this point. Um, so here we're doing it wide, and then we're going to move into a close grip um, press down. Um, again, this is just to work all three heads of the triceps. So you want to definitely change up the variation here. you're probably hurting just as I am but we are moving over into a standing overhead cable tricep extension it's a quite a mouthful but again it's focusing on just the triceps um, with this exercise you want to keep your torso locked and your upper arms and elbows still the only thing that should be working here is your forearms your forearms should be the only thing moving um, you don't want to do too much swinging you literally just want the forearms to do all of the work once you press down, squeeze, and go back, um, the motion is pretty simple. It's just overhead. It's like a tricep press down, except here we have it over our heads. Again, it's isolating the tricep. It's working one of those three heads, if not more than that. Um but certainly not least we are doing seated tricep overhead extension this exercise will target the tricep with just one dumbbell being held over your head with both arms you're extending it up and bring it back down what you want to do is focus on keeping your elbows in close by your ears if you flare them out you're basically taking away the emphasis on the triceps and just placing it somewhere else so your goal here is to keep your elbows close to your ears the entire time Thank you. 